So what's going on everybody, make up with Drug Tech back again with yet another video for you guys and in this video we're going to be unboxing and setting up the brand new Series 6 Apple Watch which I have right here. Okay a little something which I realized and I learned through ordering through Lazada like pre-ordering through Lazada is that we actually get our Apple products like a day later than everybody else because I saw many people collecting their Series 6 on the 23rd of October which was like yesterday. So I'm actually shooting this on the 24th, just a few moments after I receive this in the mail. Yeah, I would rather go to a Apple store then and pre-order because I'm paying the same price anyway if I get to unbox this earlier and show you guys. But anyways, it is here. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So guys, to be honest, I'm really really excited to see how the blue colour of the CV6 looks in person because I honestly saw it online only but now seeing it in person, it's another experience altogether. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So before we unbox this, let me give you a closer look. So you can see right here, this is the Series 6 Blue Aluminium Case Deep Navy Sport Band. So this is like, I should say, the lowest end of the Series 6, which doesn't have cellular as well. But anyways, I don't really need cellular on the watch. I mean, I usually bring up my phone along with my Apple Watch. So cellular wasn't uh, really a thing for me anyways. But uh, the reason I bought the blue is because I'm going to be buying the blue 12 Pro Max. So I'm preparing myself to go all blue instead of uh, the usual black which I use. So that's the reason I decided to make this change with uh, starting with the Apple Watch. Alright, so let's uh, flip this over and tear open the seal. Let me do it here. Very nice unboxing experience from Apple. So you can see right there. Alright, so let's flip open the box again. Let's open the tabs right here. Hopefully I don't tear it in the process. Alright, so the unboxing experience is actually very similar to past Apple devices. So if you use uh, Apple Watch before, this is actually similar packaging. I mean, I used the Series 4 before and also the Series 1, which I have here in stainless steel. I actually kind of cracked it. You can see the front here. So I actually bought this like many, many years back. You know, the Series 1 is really, really old already. And the Series 4, I decided to sell it off because I don't need too many Apple Watches. But uh, sadly, the Series 1 is not able to pair with my 11 Pro Max. I'm not sure why because uh, it seems to detect an update, but I'm not able to update the watch so I was not able to complete the pairing process but anyways it is what it is all right so let's open the watch band first before we get into the watch so the least exciting is actually the watch band all right so guys you can see spot band right here stainless steel pin and the regular stuff all right so let's pull the tab pull the tab right here simple as that all right, let's slide out the band because I'm interested to check out this band to be honest and see how it looks like in person Okay, by the way, I actually have this uh, leather look band which I bought together with my uh, stainless steel Apple Watch Series 1. So, as you know, these are actually backward compatible. So, these straps are able to work even with the latest uh, Apple Watches. So, that's a good thing. So, I'll be using this. So, it's a nice addition, right? Having a blue leather band which is uh, pretty hard to find. So, this actually, I used it for like what? Less than 10 times. Okay, let's slide this package out. See right here. Wow. Very similar presentation, very similar presentation, I do like this. Alright, you can see right here, um, usually I'll be using this band right here, surprisingly. And of course, this portion of the band, the plastic's all there. Alright, so I'll be putting this to the side because that's about it I'll be using from this box. Alright, so let's, let's look at the start of the show which is the Apple Watch CV6 itself because I'm using actually a GoPro to record another point of view for this video so I'm trying something new for you guys. Alright, so let's slide out the lid. Alright guys, you can see a very nice uh, blue accent on the top portion. Wow, wow, wow. This is really, really nice. So guys, you can see this is actually the 44mm right here. Uh, this is a different material compared to the Series 4 which I had before. This one is slightly stiffer, I should say. Okay, let me slide it out. Let me figure out how to slide it out. Okay. Alright, it's coming out. So there it goes. So here I have the Series 6 and I also powered it on. Overall, very similar. But we do have a blood oxygen sensor. So this is an extra infrared sensor on the back here. So it's really nice. Feels light. It feels slightly thinner compared to my Series 4. 
if I'm not mistaken. But the screen protectors, however, you can use the same screen protectors. Let me put the wash aside. Let's see what else comes in the packaging. All right, so right here we have quick start guide. And then what else do we have? We have a charging cable. So I have a ton of charging cables. In fact, I use the Nomad wireless charging base with the Apple Watch charger inbuilt. So I don't really need this cable. So we I won't be taking this out anyways. All right, so let's get this watch set up. Let me show you the process. So let me put everything back. All right, so let's see the watch connect. So you can see right here, the setup process has already begun. Continue. All right, so I'm setting it up for myself. Okay, the usual. I have to scan this. It takes a moment. All right, so it's scanned. So restore from backup, set up as a new Apple Watch. But I would like to set it up as a new watch so you can see if you're a first time user of an Apple Watch, or even if you're upgrading, I think you should set it up as a new watch. The reason being because even though Apple doesn't say much about the cache files, like what you've used under the locks and stuff, it somehow transfers over to the new watch and might cause some bugs because you know there's a Series 6 and there's the Series 4 or you're even upgrading from the Series 5, I would still recommend starting up as a new Apple Watch. Even I do that with my iPhones as well, so yeah, just to play safe, so I wear it on the right. Okay, so bottom or top, so I like it on the top. All right, so you can see workout route tracking, saber rub tracking, Siri, yes. Don't share watch analytics because yeah, privacy is at stake. All right, so bold text and size. I think default is good enough for me, so I'll go with that. Don't add a passcode. Blood oxygen, all right, let's try. Okay, keep your Apple Watch up to date, continue. Yeah, clock faces. Okay, this is the part where it's a bit tricky because usually people say install all, right? But I like to choose install later because I don't want to install apps which I don't really use. So I think this is the proper way to to set up an Apple Watch or set up any Apple device in general. So basically, you don't want to install all the apps. You just want to streamline it to the apps that you use so it won't take up too much storage and probably slow down the watch. Always remember that when you first set up device, that is the crucial part because that will determine how your device is going to act up in the future if a couple of years down the road especially android devices especially android devices so i, I do like to take my time with uh, setting up my device just to make sure all the small details are covered all right so it's synchronizing right now i will skip through this part and then we will have a look at the watch itself and try out the blood oxygen sensors and see how it performs all right guys so we are done with the setup process that took a bit let's go through the features of this watch so this has an always on display in fact it's brighter than the previous version which is the gen 5 uh honestly not a big fan of always on display on watches i mean my wrist is at an angle why would i be looking at my watch right uh, it doesn't really make sense to me but anyway it's a feature that is there yeah i'll take it all right so let's take a look at this uh blood oxygen level sensor i'm gonna wear it on so I'll just let it look it's my favorite band all time that's the reason i'm still keeping it here today all right so let me press the digital crown all right let's see so make sure your watch is not too low on your wrist your watch strap should be snug but comfortable so i think this leather loop is the perfect combo right here so next so keep your watch facing up and try not to move resting your wrist on the table can help okay so let me lay my wrist relaxed on the table and kick start takes uh, 15 seconds Right, so it's done. Alright guys, so you can see this is at 94% but anyway, let's take a look at the always on display. You can see right here, my wrist is tilted and you can still see the screen as with the previous generation 4 which I had. Of course, the screen goes black because there's no always on display. So when you lift it up, you can see what happens. Alright, so you get detailed information and then when you put it to the side, that's where your always on display is. Alright, so this watch overall, it is nice. It feels exactly like my series 4 but with a uh, couple of uh, improvements like the block oxygen sensor other than that you get the same features besides the brighter always on display the better chip that's about the difference for the series 6 all right so i'll be doing more coverage on the series 6 because i'll be getting some cases as well for this watch so i really do want to check out i love the blue color all right so this has been a very quick uh, unboxing and setup process of Apple Watch Series 6, I will have more coverage coming soon. So do stay tuned to this channel. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know you've seen probably tons of unboxing videos on the Series 6 already. Yeah, but Malaysia is always one of the second batch of countries to get it. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you did like this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.